Hey guys, go so for the one here. I am welcome back to another video today people today I am going to be showing you guys how to pokey gen now this tutorial um, sadly, they did patch the Pokegen thing, but in the description below, I have a video where you could downgrade your system so you could actually Pokegen again. And you can update, downgrade whenever you want. Whenever you want a Pokegen, it works 100%, so you guys do not have to worry about that at all. So, the first thing you do when you come to Pokegen is, of course, you're going to have to download the program to Pokegen. So, you come over to this website. I uh, want me to drag this down here. The Poke or project pokemon.org this will be in the description below so don't worry about typing out everything pausing the video stuff like that to find the link and you scroll down all the way to here it'll explain some stuff and then you download this attached file you click it and it's downloading down here you guys can't see it but that's really it so I'll see you guys in Pokemon and the Pokehex thing now Okay guys, once you go ahead and download the program and downgrade your 3DS, again, the links will be in the description below, so don't worry about going to search this stuff up, I have you 100% on this. So after you do all that, you go into your Pokemon game, of course, and you come into your PC right here. Now you are going to want to sit in this screen, only this screen, and make sure, I don't even think, I, I have a Pokemon in my first slot, which I have to worry about here. Make sure you do not have a Pokemon in your first slot whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it'll get erased. I haven't tried it yet, but do not, in case it does. So you're going to want to move this stuff right here, your first Pokemon, and then go back to this screen right here. Now once you're done that, you're going to go into the Pokehex. Uh, download you did it's the program where you can pokegen stuff you can change all of its stat or not stats its nature its name everything its uh, ability and then you have to make sure it's of course legal uh, let's make a legal Pokemon right here so if you guys want to follow this I'll show you guys how to so you're going to want to make the Pokemon's name and then the proper nature so let's make a bold I'm making my mask up by the way as you can do if you've already told um, and then you come over here, click the proper ability, make sure you don't have a fake one. You do not want that. And then you're going to want to choose your country. Now, I live in Canada, and then your subregion, I live in Manitoba, and you're going to want your 3DS region, which is going to be where your 3DS is from. Now, mine's an American one, so I'm going to choose that. And this stuff right here, this is going to work for you. If you want an item, let's, uh, let's put leftovers on it. So, leftovers... Now this is going to be what you're going to have to do if you want a legit Pokemon. This is what your screen's going to look like. This is going to be a little bit different depending on where you live, but it's going to look pretty much the same. And if you want a shiny, which, let's do it. And then over here, okay, this is the most annoying part that everyone has troubles with. Like 100%. Now, we're in Oris right now. If you're an X and Y, you're going to want to go to where you breed in X and Y. I don't exactly know which route it is, but you're going to want to choose that in the locations. Now, I'm in Pokemon Oris, so I'm going to choose Oris. You're going to have to do this or it won't come out legit. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to Battle Resort right here. Now, Battle Resort, this is where all my Pokemon are bred. And I found every time I put my Pokemon's met location Battle Resort, I always come up with a legit Pokemon. So, you're going to want to do that. Now, the next thing... I never do different balls, I don't really trust that it's going to come out legit, so I always choose a Pokeball. And then Met Level, of course, it's going to have to be level 1. And then, right when you get into the Met Date thing, there will be a choice to choose today's date. You're going to want to click that white box, and it will change to that. Do not click click Faithful Encounter, that will mean it was a... Uh, that would mean, yeah, that would mean it was like a event Pokemon or something, so you do not want that at all. Now you want to come, going to come over here. Click as egg. This is very important. It won't come out legit if you don't. At least I found that in the past. Click battle resort and then the date. You want it to be the same as your met location and the same as your met date right here, and it'll work. Now, once you come into here, you're only allowed 508 or 510. I'm pretty sure it's 508 set. Um, EVs in total on your Pokemon. So I'm gonna make my Blissey set here 128, 128, and 252. Uh, and again, 508 is the max. So this is how you're gonna want your EVs to look like right there. Now, the next thing you're gonna want legit moves. You won't be able to put acid armor on Blissey or freaking uh, 
I don't know, Aeroblast or something. So, Thunderbolt is a legit move. This will depend on your Pokemon. Just go ahead and search up on Smogon on which movesets you want. It usually helps me a lot. And then we're going to want Soft Boiled and Hawk Stick. Right there, and then PP, it really doesn't matter. You can put the max PP if you really want to. It doesn't matter at all. It will come out legit either way. Now, the Realm moves, or Relay moves. Sorry about that. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think I said it right. Whatever. These moves right here do not matter at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you you can put none. You can put the basic move sets that Blissey or Chansey gets when it gets bread it doesn't matter it'll come out legit now when you come into here I like to choose my OT Landon uh, you don't have to worry about that right now and then just like mash numbers right here and this will make a legit Pokemon you do not have to worry about anything now the next step in this video you're gonna want to come up to here and click QR now this will generate a QR code and now I am going to show you guys what to do in the 3ds so once you go ahead and gen your Pokemon and everything. This is the easiest step yet. You come and press home on your 3DS. Make sure you're still on that uh, box screen when you do this. And you're going to want to go into your camera by pressing L and R. There we go. And we're going to wait for this to load up real quickly. <laughs> okay, now once you have your 3DS right here. You're going to want to go ahead and click the QR button in the bottom left hand corner. There we go, QR code. Now it is searching for a QR code. Let's see if we can get this in the first shot. And URL found. This means you did correctly. If you scanned your QR code correctly, it will show up that message and you want to launch your internet browser right now. This will ensure that you're getting your Pokemon. Now, it will be loading, injecting running exploit. And if it says failed to load part of the page, that means it is working. Don't worry about it. It will crash. And once you go into your game, you go into organize boxes, anything you want. And the Blissey we just jammed right here is in our game. It's not shiny actually. That that was actually weird and I forgot to put it to level 100, but it doesn't really matter. I'll show you guys that we just did it. Now, if you could see on the little Pokéhex thing right here, the oh, let me delete this real quickly. There we go. And as you can see on the Pokéhex thing, if you look at the TID and look at the TID on my Blissey, it is the exact same. It is 100% legit, guys. This Pokegen does work. I have used it multiple times on uh, my game. For example, right here, multiple times. I had a bunch of Pokemon. It worked for me. I'm I'm just surprised that they can find this stuff out in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Gen 6. It's... I don't know, it's flabbergasting. I should probably never say that word again, but whatever. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, all the links in the description below for my uh, Twitter, my uh, Twitch, if you guys want to check me out when I'm going live, want to check out what's new on my channel, what's new on my Twitch, stuff like that. So go ahead and follow me. I really appreciate it. I hope this tutorial really helps you guys 100% and enjoy your Pokemon. So anyways, if you like this video, shoot that like button with comment me out.